welcome and we're gonna get started I think right now hi glad you could be here let me see I'm gonna go into the special intentions um, for Beth Pacheco and her family especially her son-in-law Brian Rogers who was not expected to make it through the night last night for Bob Fawcett and his family a difficult time for the Niehaus family as Don Niehaus is put to rest today, funeral is today. For Aiden Weidenhoff, for Tanya, the wife of Luis, Caressa Townsend, Richard's brother Larry Graff, healing from cancer. For Lars and Osmo, um, my sister Marie is a nurse in Sweden and those are some people that she uh, knows of or is helping directly and she's also helping with her husband Roland. We pray for his 100% healing from cancer. For Mary Elizabeth's children, for Chris and Cape Cod, for Doug Duffield and Lisa Cooper, 100% healing. Um, awesome. Well, Doug, Doug's doing great. I just want that to stay. For Raf and his family in California. Cindy's asking prayers for Tammy and Eileen Williams, or Tammy Eileen Williams, one name, one person for relief from chronic illness and for Suzanne Lake's brain surgery and recovery. And then we're also praying for Brian, Alex, and Samuel and anyone else struggling with addiction for their loved ones and caregivers. Everybody with COVID, we pray for mild symptoms, quick recovery, for God's mercy on the people of Ukraine and Russia and the whole world. Lucinda's family, especially Jesse. And Kathy Wood, thanks for praying with us today. We're praying for your your uh whatever god wants to use you for because it's totally okay your what's great is your attitude so if he completely heals you in the next couple weeks or a couple hours and that's great too um that's powerful um but if he wants to take you that you're using this time glorifying god maria johnson the same thing she is thankful for the 11 years that she was able to live after having cancer the first time her kids are now young adults, and she's praying for God's will to be done. She's open to healing, but she's willing to let go, and for the rest of us to have that same ability. And Bob Byrne is, is asking prayers for little AJ. Um, could not attach a picture, um, but he, he said it's adorable. Okay, so feel free to give it a try uh, through the website, maybe. It's michael at leavealighton.org if you send it to me directly. They took him out of the medically induced coma today. He's doing better. And and so, Bob, uh, they were telling him to tell you, those of you who are praying for little AJ, thank you for praying for him. His parents are eternally grateful. Um, and that's what they were saying. Bob is saying that that's what they're telling us. So our prayers seem to be working. Really, anything that glorifies God, please, Lord. And for these who are um, near passing away for Michael Grays, for Brian Rogers, Jorge Estrada, Lynn Marie, Bill Costco Sr. and Jim. We pray for nothing but peace. Nothing but peace. And we pray for those who have passed away. Don Niehaus who's buried today. Wayne G. Vogt from Wisconsin, from Elkhorn. Went to school with my wife Mary. So we're praying for his family and all friends and people who will grieve his loss. For Jim McCarthy, who died peacefully, thanks be to God. Paul Johnson, Charlotte said that his family was thanking us for prayers too. And Erickson, Jeff Morrison, feels like, well, we just pray and trust in miracles. For Gerald Gleason, Barb, Jerry Jacobson, Matthew Colson, and all these people, Lee Coonrad. Mons Gustavus and Kathy Lock. For all these names. And there's one, I'm not sure if I have his name here. Um, Bob Olick, who um, his, he and his wife were in Poland. And he got COVID and she came back to the U.S. early, but he passed away. He passed away before she could have him come back here. So we pray for consolation for his wife. 
for everybody to rest in peace. What's beautiful about this is that um, mercy, Jesus said it's an infinite ocean. And, and I think that means it can splash back in time, which is what we do when we pray for those who have passed away. So thank you for praying. And I will turn this music down and get the next the video ready for this chaplet. I don't want it to be too loud. And there's Bob. But I think I'm going to hide his picture now. I was making a, a video for his widow. So I'll start that over. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we have a special intention for Judy and her husband. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son. Sorrowful passion. 
Yeah. 
mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful Passion. 
God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with me and um, it says starting soon, but there, yeah, I guess it'll be, this is soon for tomorrow at three. But um, So yeah, Bob, if you can get a picture of, of baby AJ, that would be pretty cool. Um, 
And uh, remember, we used to have the page with everybody's pictures on it, you know, which is kind of, uh, I, I like to see that sometimes it helps. So I have an idea of how to incorporate that in either the living room scene tonight, you know, before the rosary. But tonight I'm actually doing a, a home event in Mesa. So Mary will be leading the rosary. And uh, thank you for being part of this. Thank you, those who are on other platforms. I don't know. I can't see who's there or who's not. I just see a number. And thank you for praying along. And for those of you who will watch this video later, keep little baby AJ in your prayers and all these other special intentions that are mentioned in the uh, beginning of this video. God bless you. Thanks. Thanks for being signs of hope.